Welcome. Today I'm joined by Dr. Brian Clements from Intermountain Medical Center. It's good to have you with us today. We're going to be talking about a blood pressure variability study that you presented at the American Heart Association Scientific Session in Anaheim. Tell us a little bit about the study. So the study was, a, there's a big, big push right now to um, understand visit-to-visit -visit variability of systolic blood pressure and whether or not it's a marker for cardiovascular all-cause mortality, and we're trying to understand it further, so mm -hmm. we're, uh, we're glad to be a part of it. Tell us a little bit about what you were trying to find. Uh, first of all, um, we wanted to see if the research had been done in a really controlled environment, and so we wanted to see if uh, the same predictors that they used um, with visit-to-visit -visit variability in predicting mortality or other bad cardiovascular outcomes translated into more of an outpatient community type setting. We wanted to do that and then with our extensive database we have a bunch of questions that we wanted to look at to see if we could help understand it better. Okay, let's look at the next slide. And this study actually you examined patients over a 10 year period, correct? Um, yes, and over 10,000 patients. And so what this slide represents is um, that we uh, when we did, there, there was an all hat study, which kind of started this visit to visit variability um, question. And so when we applied um, the all hat study to our database, by itself, visit to visit variability was a predictor, but when we did um, 20 comorbidities and 29 plus medication, it lost its statistical significance, which was interesting to us. Yeah. And so that made us uh, reflect on, you know, why that was and uh, where to go, where to go with this data. It made us ask more questions. Okay, tell us what we're seeing here. Okay, so, so this is the univariable analysis of visit to visit variability in our database. And if you look at um, uh, this univariable analysis, it showed that there was some significance um, if the systolic blood pressure was more than 14.4 uh, varying from time to time. Okay. But this is just a univariable analysis, but when we use confounders, this lost its significance. Okay. So that's why we're showing this study is because this is kind of a change. The, the all hat protocol did not work for our, um, for our database. Okay. So we had to look at things further. Well, let's look at the results you have on this slide here. Okay. What, did you, what did you find? Okay, so uh, we went back to the literature and looked, and we noticed that some people were doing the coefficient of variation, which is, which is uh, systolic blood pressure uh, divided by the mean blood pressure, and we divided it into four groups, into quartiles. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that in the highest degree here uh, of the quartile, that um, using the multivariate analysis, that there was still statistical significance in predicting mortality and uh, both cardiovascular and all cause in that higher group. So that led us to like, well, what is the number? What is the systolic blood pressure number in an outpatient setting that may predict mortality um, in variation as a patient comes to okay. visit us? Okay, knowing this, what are the next steps? So the next step, we, we're, we're well on our way. We're already looking at this. So, so we think we, we uh, have discovered kind of a new, um, a new level of blood pressure variability which predicts mortality in an outpatient setting at least in a retrospective fashion and then also too we're starting you know our questions are you know uh, um, what you know is this a independent predictor or is this just another risk factor with other cardiovascular events that we're looking at and also we're looking at specific medications to see if it takes away um, this uh, mortality cause so. And, and we know blood pressure is becoming a bigger issue for our patients. Yes, and right now the NIH is putting a lot of money into research, and so we, we hope to be a part of this. We're, we're excited about the data that we have, and we actually, going forward, we want to um, actually do a prospective study where we want to, first of all, show that we can control variability, and then eventually we would love to be part of a multi-center randomized control study that's uh, nationally funded so that we could, we could look into this and hopefully not only benefit our patients in our mountain, but nationally and world, worldwide. Well, thank you for sharing our results okay. and uh, great work. We invite you to stop by the Intermount Medical Center Heart Institute booth at the AHA Scientific Session and visit Dr. Clements as well as our other uh, investigators to find out more about the abstracts and posters that we have presented at AHA. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great day.